Welcome to this video on finding and interpreting the linear regression equation. After watching this video, you will be able to find the regression equation of a dataset using StatCrunch, identify and interpret the y-intercept of the line of best fit or the linear regression equation, and also identify and interpret the slope of the line of best fit or the linear regression. Finding the regression equation or line of best fit. Please note that the phrase linear regression equation and line of best fit will be used interchangeably in this video. It is possible to calculate the regression equation of a scatter plot by hand. However, performing this calculation manually is very time consuming and impractical. As a result, in this course, we will be using technology to calculate the equation for the line of best fit or the linear regression equation. If you are curious about how to calculate the regression equation by hand, there are many instructional videos on YouTube that you can watch. Let's begin with an example. In previous videos, we have used the same example that compares blood alcohol content and number of beers. How much alcohol can one consume before one's blood alcohol content is above the legal limit? To answer this question, an undergraduate statistics project was conducted at the Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio, that explored the relationship between blood alcohol content and other factors, such as amount of alcohol consumed. Each individual participating in the study was assigned a random number of beers they had to drink. The blood alcohol content of the individuals was measured at two different time periods. In this example, X is the number of beers, or the predictor variable, and Y is the blood alcohol content, or the response variable. To better understand predictor and response variables and how to determine them, please watch my video on scatter plots. Next, we want to decide if we expect to have a positive, negative, or no correlation between the two variables. If you want, you can pause this video and make a prediction, and then unpause it to see if you are correct. We would expect a positive correlation between the two variables. In other words, as the number of beers a person drinks increases, we would expect, expect their blood alcohol content to increase as well. To find the linear regression equation, you first have to open a data set. The data set I created is entitled Ohio State University BAC Study. Remember, BAC stands for blood alcohol content. First, you have to log into StatCrunch. Then you will search for the data set Ohio, Ohio State University Blood Alcohol Content Study under Datasets. Then once you open the data set, you can find the linear regression equation. Let's jump to the internet so I can show you step-by-step step how to complete this process. Notice I first navigate to the website statcrunch.com. As you can see, I have already logged in. If you haven't already logged in, you must do that first. Once you've logged in, then you can go down to data and click on data sets. When you do that, a search bar should come up. I'm going to type in Ohio State University BAC study and press enter. Once I do that, notice the correct data set comes up and I'm going to click on the blue name of the data set so that it is opened in StatCrunch. Now that you've opened your data set, you can start to analyze the data. Using StatCrunch to find the regression equation. Log into StatCrunch and open the desired data set. We've already done that. Remember, you can only calculate the linear regression equation if you already have a data set open. Having a blank StatCrunch window open is not going to help you. Click on STAT in the drop-down menu at the top of the screen. Then click on Regression and then Simple Linear. Select your X and Y variables and hit Compute. I'm going to navigate over to the internet and show you step-by-step -step how to do this in StatCrunch. Once we do that, StatCrunch will generate a screen with a lot of information, including the regression equation. Let's get started. Notice here, I have already opened my data set. When I hover over STAT, this drop-down menu appears, and I'm going to go down to the word regression. Then I'm going to go over to the right and hover over simple linear, and then I'm going to click once. Notice this window asks me to select my x and my y variable. 
Remember my X variable is the number of beers and the Y variable is the blood alcohol content. Once you have selected the appropriate X and Y variables, you can hit compute. Remember, you can use these arrows to change the size of the output window. And another thing you can do is you can use this blue arrow in the bottom right hand corner of your screen to show you the scatter plot with the line of best fit or the linear regression equation superimposed onto the data set. We're going to look at this output in greater detail and see if we can find the linear regression equation among the output. Can you find the regression equation in the output below? Pause this video, see if you can find it, and then unpause it to see if you are correct. If you said that the equation is right there, then you are correct. One question that students frequently ask is whether they should round the values. Obviously, the output is giving us a lot of precision, and we might not need all of those digits after the decimal point. Generally speaking, you should either follow the directions that are being given to you in the specific assignment or test you're working on, or you can use your best judgment. In this problem, I've decided that I'm going to round all of the values in this equation to four decimal places. So that means that the blood alcohol content equals negative 0 0.0127 plus 0 0.0180 years. The next thing we need to do is replace the words BAC and beers with an X or a Y. So notice, again, there aren't any X or Y. We need to put those in there. Remember, we said that BAC, or blood alcohol content, is our response variable, which is plotted on the Y axis. The number of beers is the explanatory variable, or the predictor variable, and is plotted on the X axis. Therefore, we can replace BAC with the Y variable and beers with the X variable. When we do this, we get an equation that says y equals negative 0.0127 plus 0.180x. That is the form of the equation, generally, that I'm looking for on a test or homework assignment. Can you identify the slope and the y-intercept in this equation? Pause the video, see if you can, and then unpause it to see if you're correct. The slope is always the coefficient of x. In this case, the slope is 0 0.0180. Notice it is also explicitly stated in the output window. The y-intercept is the number that stands alone. In this case, the y-intercept is negative 0.0127. It is also explicitly stated in the output window in StatCrunch. The order of the terms in the equation does not matter. I could rewrite the equation above as follows. y equals 0.0180x minus 0.127. This would not change which value is the slope and which is the y-intercept. Be careful not to rely on the location of the terms to tell you which term represents the slope and which term represents the y-intercept. A scatter plot of the data with a line of best fit superimposed over the data is available, as I showed you before, by scrolling to the second page of the output. The equation of this line is y equals negative 0.0127 plus 0.0180x. Interpreting the slope. You may recall from a previous class the following definitions of slope. Slope is equal to the change in y over the change in x. It's also equal to the rise over the run. For a more thorough review of slope, please watch some of the videos that I've created on slope. In the problem we just completed, we found the slope was 0 0.0180. But what does this tell us in the context of the problem? Well, the slope is 0 0.0180 or 0 0.0180 over 1. So 0. 0, 1, 8, 0 is the change in y, and then 1 is the change in x. Simply put, the slope tells us that for every one unit change in x, there is a slope unit change in y. In this case, for every one unit change in x, there is a 0 0.0180 change in y. 
If we stopped here, however, that would not really give us a complete picture. What we need to do is we need to put this explanation in the context of the problem, which means we need to add the units in question, which are number of beers and blood alcohol content. In this case, for every one beer consumed, a person's blood alcohol content increases by 0 0.0180. Now let's interpret the y-intercept. In this problem, we said that the y-intercept is negative 0.0127. But this isn't actually the full picture. Remember, the y-intercept is actually a point on the graph. It's an ordered pair. So the y-intercept is actually the point 0, comma, negative 0 0.1, sorry, negative 0.0127. Let's add units to this ordered pair in order to help us begin to interpret it. The zero, the first zero is the x value, which is the number of beers. The second value, negative 0.0127, is a person's blood alcohol content. This means that when a person has had zero beers or before they have consumed any alcohol, they have a blood alcohol content of negative 0.0127. Let's pause a minute and think about what that means. Does this make sense in real life? It doesn't because it's not physically possible to have a negative blood alcohol content. What should the real y-intercept of this equation be so that it makes sense in real life? Pause this video, write down your answer, and then unpause it. In real life, we know that a person who has not consumed any alcohol should have a blood alcohol content of zero. Again, it's not physically possible to have a negative blood alcohol content. At this point, you should now be able to find the regression equation of a data set using StatCrunch and identify and interpret the y-intercept of the line of best fit. When you do this, remember the y-intercept is zero comma y, and the interpretation is that when the x variable is zero, the y variable is whatever the y-intercept is. Remember, you have to put this into the context of your problem using the relevant units. You should also be able to identify and interpret the slope of the line of best fit. The formulaic way to express or interpret the slope is to say that for every one unit change in x, there is a, whatever your slope is, unit change in y. Again, just writing this answer and inserting your slope is not sufficient. You have to put this into the context of your problem using the relevant units.